while I am embarrassed, I'm not even sorry. Apparently, 2022 was the year of three for me, and I don't know how to explain that. I do not like to behave this way, but sometimes I do, and I had gotten better about this, but the moment that I purchased this bag and I received it and used it and loved it and then saw the other variations, I couldn't help myself. Now, while they are the same style bag, I do think that they are three very different bags, they're different colors, they're different materials. And so they were really worth adding. I have loved all three of them. So I wanted to discuss all three of these bags for you guys in case anyone was uh, wanting to add either the Teddy or was considering the Croc or the glazed calfskin one which was the first one that i bought so let's let's compare obviously this was the first one that i ever purchased and still i still love it even having purchased the other two i have to say that the color on this one really is the showstopper with these handbags this is the version that has yielded me the most compliments every time i wear this somebody makes a comment on how beautiful the bag is and i was very surprised by that i have to admit i was not expecting that to be a thing with this bag i think it's cute you know and apparently it is i think the color is very eye-catching and because the leather is glossy i wanted to detail something about this bag specifically why out of all of the ones that i i have and the ones that i have seen this and the pink version of this have something very very specific and special and that is that the tote sign over here the lettering is also in a lighter shade of green usually you'll see the lettering in black or in white but this one is just a lighter shade of green and i wish that they did that with all of them because especially when they make these smaller ones i think if people are attracted to these is because they don't necessarily love that big the tote sign on the bag and so this camouflage is really really beautiful and it isn't about the the brand of it or anything like that and it just is it a higher end look it's almost like a black on black but it's a green on green so i i just think that that is probably the thing that makes this one the most special out of the three and i know that that is something that they also do with the pink one and there is a kind of a camel color it doesn't come in this size yet but it does come in the mini size and that one also has the lettering in the camel color so i i feel like that's something that they need to pursue a lot more it just gives the bag a more seamless look and that's something that i didn't discuss i wanted to bring it up because i saw someone discuss the black version of this one and that one has the straight i, I think it's the black leather patch with the white letters so it's a lot more in in your face and i understand why somebody would not like that i i totally get it but in this version it doesn't have that so i do think that that makes this one the pink one and the beige one a standout piece this is the only one that arrived with this thing kind of smashed in and all i did was just got something that was like circular and then I just shoved it in there as much as I could and it fixed the ring. This is the only bag that showed up with the ring. I, not damaged, but not its best. And it didn't bother me because of the material. Usually that is something that would bother me. But again, the cost of the bag and I kind of knew that I was going to be able to fix it. And it did. It actually came back. It's actually like really stiff now. It it just stayed I, I left it that way for a couple of days and it worked beautifully so that is something else that i wanted to discuss about this particular one i know some people are not okay with that and i'm not always okay with it i was okay with it specifically because of the material and because i knew that i was going to be able to fix it so and it wasn't that big of a deal for me but i know that that could be an issue for someone so i wanted to discuss that as well now the teddy tote 
first let me say that this is actually the second teddy tote that i purchased because the first one that i received was ratty it was awful it came from came from harvey nichols and it looked awful it was so like it was like molting and this part over here was covering this and it just looked so awful and it was one of those really disappointing unboxings when when i opened this i thought what is this i i thought that i was literally nuts and i thought that they all looked that way thankfully i went ahead and ordered it from neiman marcus and this one showed up and it was perfect it looked like this the other one had like bald spots on it it just looked like somebody had ran it over it looked like roadkill it looked awful you guys so definitely if you get one like that that's not how they're supposed to look and return it for a different one they don't all look like that if you can purchase it in person all the better but this one is perfect and there's no bald spots anywhere it's the most adorable bag and one of the reasons why i really like this one was because it does come with the thicker strap figured that i could use this strap with my green one and i always knew that i wanted to purchase a black one of these as well so this one is another one that is really really adorable i feel like if you don't have like a winter bag in your collection this is a really really cute one to consider because it will live in your closet forever and you can always take it out for fall and winter and i, I just think it's adorable to have a bag like this like fur or shearling anything that is very winter-esque is nice to have and take out um every year and it's a moment right i don't think that this is a bag that i'll ever get tired of like i said just make sure that you inspect it sometimes they do have bald spots sometimes it almost looks like had been brushed it was it was just awful but it's supposed to look like this and i hope that it's coming across where the details are it's not overly like fluffy and if stuff is coming out of it that's also a bad sign so return that and get a different one order it from a different vendor if you get a bad one i was surprised that the one that came from europe looks so bad i i started to think maybe that's why the euro market doesn't respect american design because if that's what they're sending to the euro market I, i'm embarrassed please <laughs> accept my apologies because they, that's not what they're meant to look like this one is super super cute though so if you can buy it in person i definitely recommend it this one is a bag that i found out about because of my sister we both had purchased a teddy i think she bought it in the small and then she sent me this but i want to say she sent it to me in the mini and the moment that i saw it because i knew i wanted a black one i was pretty sure i was going to get the crinkled leather in the black but the moment that i saw this i was like no this is the one and this one is available in yellow in the mini it's available in a beautiful bordeaux color so beautiful and i just had to get my hands on this one i was very surprised when this bag arrived this one also came from the euro market i want to say i haven't bought any of them directly from mark jacobs i did order i want to say the teddy one from mark jacobs but they wouldn't price match what i have found something else and honestly the customer service at mark jacobs was atrocious and so i ended up canceling that order i do wonder how they arrive from mark jacobs from everywhere else they're kind of just tossed in a bag which is very disappointing the dust bag is never on them the dust bag is inside of them so that's something that i don't love but i did want to talk a little bit about the strap on this one because i saw mini got an aspinall of london croc bag and so i was a little concerned because her strap was very stiff and i thought oh my god that's totally what i'm gonna get <laughs> i just thought that that's how it would be but no this is very soft and supple faux croc is i've never seen this before in croc where it's soft it, usually it's very very 
stiff and this one has some pliability to it it almost feels like there may be some padding maybe here or something i don't know but it is such a yummy little faux croc piece and i highly recommend this one the ring on this one is also very stiff there's no danger in it kind of collapsing it is very very hardy it is super super pliable as well not stiff at all and i love that i have all three i can use this one with a teddy tote as well just to give it an um an additional interesting look this one obviously does have the lettering in the white the reason i think that even though the lettering is in white but it's not very jarring to the bag is because of the texture on the, on the bag so if you see me move it around you see that it picks up a lot of light and so it almost camouflages the white lettering on there when you're wearing it so i think that this one is really really lovely usually though when i do see a croc bag even my chanel gold one i guess the body shape of an alligator right so they, this part is always wider and then this comes in with the scales a lot smaller and there's a a variation in the sizing and this one does not have that and that's actually what i liked so much about this one and and this one i love that it has that um, variation in the um in the alligator or croc skin uh, look which i feel makes this a very unique looking croc embossed bag i heard somebody say that their tote wasn't a good like work bag now they had that really big one with the tote written on it and i would probably agree with that um i think that this one in a bigger size either the mini or the small would make a beautiful work bag as i mentioned in my what i got for christmas video i feel like this one is um, it really reminds me of the Zac de Jour from Saint Laurent. It totally has that look. I discussed that the micro bag version of this reminds me of the mini Lady Dior, but this one for some reason reminds me of the Zac de Jour. It's such a beautiful low key bag with just that little element of something interesting, which is what the texture of this leather does for the bag. It just adds an additional interest to the bag. So I really love this one. And if you're looking for a good work bag, I think this maybe in a mini or in the small would be a great one to consider. And they're not heavy at all. This is rather stiff. I, I, I just, I absolutely am crazy about these bags. Obviously I've never collaborated with anybody at all there's no gift card there's no nothing i bought these all myself with my money um not with a voucher or anything i i remember seeing someone else buy i think like three or four of these not last year maybe the the year before and then i realized that they had a voucher and i was like oh well i guess that's why they bought it even though they said that they loved it i i totally didn't understand why someone would get so many <laughs> and i was a little judgy and one of you might be judging me because this is absurd i'll be the first one to admit but uh, like i said i'm not even sorry they're just really great bags and i'm glad to have all three of them in my collection i don't intend on adding any other one i really loved the yellow croc but but the lettering on the yellow croc is black and so i just feel it's really harsh on the bag otherwise i, I would totally love that one the Bordeaux one is really beautiful and that camel neutral is so, so pretty, but I, I can't get more than three. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm glad they don't, they haven't made it in that color. I hope that I'm done. I really do. This is one of my favorites. I, this one kind of culminated the, the, the three that I purchased. So still really happy about this one. Really used it a lot from the moment that I received it and I plan on using it a lot more. I love it with my Prada loafers. It's just because it really doesn't have that much hardware. It's such an easy bag to style. I know it's black. Um, the other ones are too. Um, there isn't a lot of hardware. So I think that that's one of the things that makes these bags really, really good. Have you picked up one of these micro bags? I'm obsessed with these, seriously, you guys. And hopefully this year, I will take it down several notches because that's absurd. <laughs> In any case, I really appreciate you watching and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.